This is part one of a two-part series for the vSAN Data Persistence Platform. This video demonstrates the simplicity with which to enable modern stateful services on top of VMware's vSphere with Tanzu. The VMware vSAN Data Persistence Platform, or DPP, provides a framework for modern stateful service providers to build deep integration with the underlying virtual infrastructure, leveraging the Kubernetes operator method and the vSphere pod service. This allows you to run stateful applications with lower TCO and simplified operations and management. Enabling one of the third-party stateful services is as simple as a few clicks in the vCenter UI. vSAN DPP then creates a namespace and adds all the relevant third-party operator, storage classes, and vSAN storage policies. In addition, a vCenter UI plugin is deployed, so administrators can simply provision and manage stateful services for their users. As an example, using Minio, I'll provision some object storage and use it for backups by creating a tenant. I'll name this tenant archive, and I'll use a previously created namespace called Minio-Backup. For storage class, the data persistence platform has two options, vSAN SNA, which is shared nothing architecture, or vSAN direct configuration. The first option, vSAN SNA, is ideal for customers who want to run modern stateful services alongside traditional applications in the same vSAN cluster. In this configuration, the storage is configured much like any other vSAN object, but instead, customers are leveraging the availability features that come with the modern stateful services and have replication turned off in the vSAN layer for minimum storage overhead and space savings. This option is ideal for customers wanting to get started fast with modern stateful services, proof of concepts, or customers wanting to leverage general purpose hardware from multiple workloads. Option two, vSAN Direct Configuration, also takes advantage of the availability, efficiency, and security features that are built into the modern stateful service layer. But instead of being part of an existing vSAN cluster, there is direct access to the underlying attached hardware for optimal storage efficiency and near bare metal performance. This option is ideal for purpose-built deployments of a certain modern stateful service where the underlying hardware can be optimized for workload requirements. A few examples might be dense S3-compatible object storage for archival or data with infrequent access, or performance-sensitive apps such as those for big data and advanced analytics. For advanced options such as security and encryption, configure advanced mode. Here you can choose an optional custom image for your deployment. You can choose an external identity manager, such as OpenID or Active Directory. You can enable TLS and configure encryption. Now this is not vSAN encryption, rather the encryption provided by the service, in this case, Minio. And lastly, we'll define the tenant size and availability. In this environment, I have a total of five nodes, but I'm only gonna choose four for this tenant. Since it's just a small lab, I'm going to choose a smaller storage size, as well as a smaller memory footprint. You can select the desired parity, for more information on the various erasure code parities available, be sure to check your service vendors. And I'll click Next and Create. Before I click Finish, I'll be sure to copy the credentials. These credentials will be used later to access the Minio endpoint, which is essentially the S3 object service interface. Let's take a look at the details of this newly created tenant. By clicking on Health, I can see the various server instances and the volumes that are bound. Going back to details, I can see the Minio endpoint URL. This is how users will consume the S3 object service. I'll go ahead and paste the credentials that I copied when creating the instance. As you can see, with a few clicks, I was able to enable a new S3 object service and provide a self-service portal so my users can begin to use the service. The vSAN Data Persistence Platform allows you to provide stateful applications and offer a simple cloud-like self-service experience when consuming resources with lower TCO and simplified operations management. 